USA team there coming on with the most celebrated soccer face in the world there, Pelé. And a very friendly atmosphere in this bicentennial soccer match. A rare visit in the United States of the full England team. Shuffled about in two previous matches. Defeated Italy to recap on it. 3-2 at the Yankee Stadium after being two down in the first half. So it shows you that the whole game can switch very much. And we're wondering whether the USA team can do the same. It's a harder task for them, of course. Defensive position player who runs forward and supports the attack so well. Mick Shannon spraying that one out there to the far side, breasted down very easily by Trevor Brookin. Brookin runs it to the touchline, turns it back in. Stuart Pearson gets his head to it, but well covered by the American goalkeeper. And the ball, in fact, goes into touch. But Stuart Pearson back in there. Is Peter Chandler lost the ball, turned it to touch. Bobby Moore taking the, the throw in. Peter Chandler. They're doing the England stuff now, pushing it around in defence. Bob Smith made a lot of ground with that too. So number 12 is Stuart Scullion is on the pitch now. For USA, Stuart Scullion, originally from Watford, just outside of London. In Number eight on the ball, Mick Shannon. Jerry Francis, the England captain, overrunning. He's got an empty net. He's got to get that back in the middle. Pushed it through the legs of the defender there. That really was a cheeky one by Jerry Francis. I felt a bit sorry there for number four, Keith Eddy. And there it is in replay. He really has took that well. He's run inside, inside with it. Now watch this nutmegging, they call that in soccer. The right through Keith Eddy's Francis legs. for England now. Makes a break at the halfway line. Pushing it out to the wing here. Waiting for Mickey Shannon to come up for him. There he is. Pushes it out to Shannon. Shannon tackled, easily brought down there. It's been a very clean game. But 16, Peter Chandler bringing this man down. Let's have a look in replay at that. There it is. Mickey Shannon. Well late tackle, of course. And no doubt about that. Could be a dangerous uh, free kick situation. But needing treatment here. You can understand that. It's a hard pitch to fall on. I wouldn't be surprised... Uh, if the England uh, manager doesn't decide on a substitute, if he, if he thinks that uh, Shannon has been jarred up a bit too much with that. He's got all his men lining up on the bench there, waiting to come on. Don Reedy going, having him for Bay. Shannon's here again. Keith Eddy. Tommy Smith. Chips that ball over to Shinard. He got that. No, well held again by Ray Clements. This goalkeeper takes a lot of beating as Pelé goes to tackle the goalkeeper and gets a foul again. Number six, Bobby Moore. Shinaglia, Pelé. Good crossfield pass from Pelé. Can he do something with this? Shinaglia gets a spectacular kick. Hits the defender in the face. He goes down, the goalkeeper misses it, but it flights over the bar. A wasted chance there for USA. We must see that one in replay. There it is. Flighted well, too. Hits him full in the face with the ball, but Clements comes out, takes the play away, as it were, from Shinaglia. He's unable to pull it round the goalkeeper, and he left foots it. Placement there, it number 14 comes on. That's Jan Kowalik. Jan Kowalik. England on attack. Kevin Keegan gets it again. Two goal Keegan. Over to Stuart Pearson. Jerry Francis. There it is. Got to be one again. No, he's missed it. Or is he going to take his time? No. Oh, he really threw that one away. So let's have a look at that from behind the goal. We'll see that in a replay. Jerry Francis beautifully tricked the goalkeeper there. Just held onto it too long. Let it go through his legs. Trying to be number nine, Shinaglia. Pelé. An exciting but rather wasted try there by Jean Kowalik. Polish international player now. 